Hi everyone, Nathan here from Mighty Lancer Games and today we're going to be talking about the new Citadel Colour STC Special White Brushes. So what's going to happen in this video is Mrs. MLG and I are going to try eat, well, some of these brushes and then we're going to give you our thoughts on them. So I brought a little selection that we could try out. We've got a base small brush, uh, layer small brush, layer medium brush, and then a medium and a large dry brush. So we're going to give these a little bit of a test out and see how they fare. So before we get started using it, what do we think to the actual construction of the brushes? So here we've got the small base brush, and this is a good solid shaft to the uh, paintbrush. It's a good length. It feels very solid. It's got a uh, nice sturdy ferrule for you to hold on to. And uh, the thickness of the, the paintbrush there is uh, absolutely fine, feels very comfortable to hold, as does uh, the dry brush that we've got here. That's uh, also quite solid, feels like you could manipulate that very well. We're going to try them out and see what they're like to actually use. I've just got some Vallejo flat brown over here, which we're going to try out. So this is that small base brush that we were just using, and uh, I'm just going to paint it on these barrels here and see how we think the, the brush works out. So the paint's going on nice and evenly, as you would expect. The, uh, the bristles are not too stiff, even though when I first took the cap off I did think the bristles were a little stiff, but they do seem to have flexed and uh, they've obviously got some kind of glue or whatever on them to stop them parting in storage, but that easily knocks out of the bristles and they become quite floppy, or uh, no, floppy is the wrong word, malleable, shall we say, around the the model. There's quite a bit of detail in these br barrels so I just need to do some vertical strokes to get in the, in the details there. But this brush performs as well as any other for this small task. I guess the main challenge is going to be uh, the dry brush and see how the dry brushes perform. Let's see how well, so I've intentionally gone for a brown just to see if it stains the bristles on um, these white bristles. I guess one advantage there is you can see how much paint you're getting in the uh, bristles. You don't want it getting right up into the ferrule here. So being able to see that definitely, but we'll wash this brush out. Now we've just painted this little area. I'm going to wash this brush and see uh, whether it's stained the bristles at all. So let's do that. Ah, actually, it's turned out a lot better than I thought. I thought that would really mark the, the bristles on the brush using a brown paint, but that's actually turned out like pretty good. And they're presumably a nylon or something because it's holding its shape really, really well without a great deal of moisture in there still, after we've cleaned it with the paper towel. Okay, yeah, I was, uh, I was intrigued how these would perform and I'm suitably impressed. Let's just do that top bit in there and give it another rinse out. So I just thought I'd best show you this. So after using this little brush, to paint a, a couple more bits here, I've just painted this wicker basket. Uh, you might notice there is some discoloration here at the edge of the bristles where it joins the ferrule. Now I was extremely careful to only get paint on the first half here, but what has happened is when I've had the brush uh, and I've wanted to add a little water into the paint, 
been washing this brush out, dipped it in the water pot and then uh, added that to the paint. And because the whole bristle area was wet, it's drawn the paint up, the wet bristles, and now it has discolored this area up here. So you can see that the end here is nice and white and pristine because I've been able to wash that out. But this area up at the top is exactly what many painters fear, which is when you start getting paint into this joint because eventually that will damage the, uh, the bristles and it will lose its point. So we're just going to give it another good wash out and see if we can get rid of this and uh, I'll come back to you in a moment. So I've given this a really good uh, rinse out, really good wash through and you can see that it's still discolored there. So the white, the, most of the bristles are uh, white as they should be but that area right at the edge of the frame is discolored. So only time is going to tell how this brush is going to uh, work out but I've literally used it for 10 minutes and uh, I'm not keen on that discoloration. So we're going to try a dry brush and see how that is. Next we're going to try out one of the dry brushes. So this is the medium dry brush and I'm just going to use it to put a little bit of red on the wing of this Reaper Chimera. So we're going to get a little bit of paint on the brush, so not a lot on, uh, on the bristles there. And then we're going to take most of the paint off. So as I was brushing it on the tissue, can you see what's happened to the brush here? It's kind of like split the bristles and the paint has rubbed quite far up. So try and sort that out a little bit. So we get the bristles back flat and then we're just going to paint that on. So this performs very much like the other brush as, as any other brush you would use. The, uh, the bristles, despite feeling quite hard when you're straight out of the packet, feels soft, manageable and uh, it's doing a great job of laying the colour down there. So far, so good. So I've just washed the uh, the brush out and just before I dry it on the tissue. So I was using that red and you can see how, uh, how it has stained the bristles here of the brush. Let's just dry it out on a bit of tissue or wipe it off in a bit of tissue. So you can see how like that other brush, it stained the bristles, but also it's like kind of sucked a little bit of the pigment up to the edge of the ferrule there. So I'm not sure how that's going to fare long term for these brushes, but on initial use, works fine, comfortable enough to use. I was concerned about the stiffness of the bristles, but they appear to be nice and soft. Functions perfectly well. So now I'm going to pass you over to Mrs. MLG, who's going to give you her perceptions on using these brushes as well. Hi everyone, Mrs. MLG here. I am going to try the small layer brush and compare it to my Humbrol Zero, which is what I normally use. And as you can see, it's quite well worn. So like Mr. MLG said, they're quite hard when you first get them. So I'm going to rinse mine and see if uh, it makes it less hard, wash whatever it is off. Don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what I am doing. Be a nice uh, soft brush to start off with. And I'm going to try and paint this barrel. As a new painter, I might not paint exactly like everybody else does, but I'm going to paint in my normal style and then I'll be able to give you my opinion on it. So I normally, the paint, take a little bit off and then I would paint on. And we'll see how that goes. 
So there you go. The brush itself I found really easy to hold. Very easy to uh, manipulate the bristles to where I wanted them. Nice, soft and pliable. I think the layers went on nice and smoothly. It's just a, just a good brush. I'm going to rinse it now. See what it looks like after I've given it a rinse. So, of course, as expected, my uh, bristles are no longer white. They're a, a lovely shade of mint green. But then none of us really thought that the bristles were going to stay white, did they? There you go. So now I'm going to try and do the same thing with my normal paintbrush, my humble one, and see if I can see any difference. So there we go. They're both painted now. One with Humbrol, one with Citadel. And really, I think the Citadel paintbrush was felt smoother to use. And I don't know if it, it felt easier to manipulate. I don't really know why. Whether it was just because it's new. <laughs> but it's definitely a nice soft tip. But I like them both. As you can see, the Citadel one's kept its point really well. And now it's a lovely shade of mint green as well. So in summary, these are good quality brushes. They feel well made, they hold their points well, and they're around the same price as a regular Citadel paintbrush. So maybe check them out for yourselves. We hope this video has been useful and please check out our YouTube channel with a like and subscribe for more great painting videos. Thanks for watching.